Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. And we're so glad that you're here. For the last time. This year. In 2023. Yes. Well, of course, when you're watching this, it's already. It's going to be 2024. January 1st, which means happy birthday, Michelle. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you are 41. Ooh, should we edit that part out? Let's just leave it right there. I'm going to start. It's a new 40, so I'm one. You're one. <laughs> <laughs> She's a year old. The old 40 is gone. She's one year old. Or maybe old. I should start from 30. <laughs> like go 30 That's now. hilarious. That thing popped up and said infant. You know, I said sometimes yeah, it's a portrait. Yeah. It, as soon as you said that, I'm one. It was like infant. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Um, but yes. So happy new year to all of you. And um, but this is going to be the last video of 2023. Even though you're watching it on 2024 or whenever yes. you're watching it. Yes, so this is going to mm -hmm. be wrapping up our 2023 season, mm -hmm. and this has been the year of home, and it really yep. has been a year of home, God filling us with so much just dreaming and just going forth in the vision mm -hmm. of home. Well, and the uh, message that we're going to share with you today is based kind of on an encounter that I had with the Lord last night, mm -hmm. but also um, there will be other things put in there, but it'll, it's literally for me personally, it is the crown of the year for mm -hmm. me. It's God waited until the wee smalls. I was literally up at like 318 in the morning. I'll tell you more about that. And he just crowned me with his goodness. I was like, oh, wow. You really, you really did do that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yes. But before we get into all of that, we do want to give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to give, who has given to yes. us. Um, throughout this year and the um, Christmas season and, and the everything. Christmas season yeah it's just been such a huge blessing getting so, out of your own needs yes yeah, so major Praise thank you to all of you and if you would like to give we are support based so um, we have a PayPal a Venmo and a cash app link below mm -hmm. and you can click any of those and just be led by the spirit you know yeah. give if you, if you want to you know yeah. don't ever give to anybody under compulsion in the name of the Lord no. Yeah. God wants a cheerful giver whose whose heart is in the giving. You know, mm -hmm. don't ever feel like, oh, I have to. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God doesn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel like, oh, I just, I guess I'm supposed to do this. Nope. Yeah. He wants a cheerful giver. And so we just thank, thank you to all you cheerful yes. givers. Yes. Praise huge, the Lord. Huge thank you. You're the hand of God. Mm -hmm. So, for us now, it is 10.35 p.m. <laughs> we had a late God time. It was really good, though. We went through oh, seven so worship good. songs, and it was just so awesome. Just our whole nighttime God time was really super awesome. But it was just super late. We didn't even finish until 10 o'clock. Yeah. But we definitely were just like, we want to do this video tonight. And so here we yeah. are. <laughs> and so we're going to be we're going to be breaking in the new year by decreeing. Yes. The the end of our our home story, which is really going to be kind of the beginning of it. But you'll you'll see what we mean here in a second. But um, let's see. Where, where should I start? Where should I start? Well, I have been once again trying to wean myself off of caffeine. Wean the caffeine. Um, I could use a little bit of that right now, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Michelle both, before we started this video, Lord, by your spirit. Yes. By your spirit. Because <laughs> we tired. But, but I've been trying to wean myself off of caffeine. And that can be a little difficult because I can get headaches or something like that. Um, and last night, I had the most insane headache. It was so throbbing and pounding that I, 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 it woke me up. And I knew what it was. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a caffeine withdrawal headache. This is bad. And I got up, I saw it was 318. 
I was like, okay, well, that's a, that's a decent prophetic number to wake up to, but <laughs> 318, I was just like, and I just, I just prayed, man. I just prayed and prayed. I was like, Lord, what do I do? And ultimately, I ended up having to get a little bit of caffeine to kind of take the headache away. It's They call it the hair of the dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they call it that. Kind of a weird thing. It's a weird <laughs> phrase, but... I was like, well, that's going to mean I'm going to be up for a while. And it's like, but I can't go to sleep because my head, there is a jackhammer on both sides of my head. Both hemispheres are jacked up. And so, so I was like, see, this is why you can't do, this is why you shouldn't do it. But anyway, um, and so I sat down and I was just like, okay, well, Lord, I sat down at 329, you know. After I did my, my, I take these things called Zip Fizz. They're really cool. They're, they're, they're mostly B vitamin, but they got some caffeine, caffeine in it there. too. It's much less than what you might find, me. I think, in a five-hour energy or a Celsius or something like that. But either way, I sat down and immediately the Lord, basically, he was like, oh, I'm going to take an opportunity here. I'm going to take a take a moment to meet with you, brother. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to me this phrase, from dreaming to living. Mm -hmm. And that started this whole, this whole, like, encounter that I had with the Lord. Now, what do I mean by encounter? It means he's just downloading things into my spirit, and I'm just, I'm gathering things from him. But sometimes he will literally speak things directly to me mm -hmm. during this encounter. It's like a time where you, it's like you're going on a date. That's an encounter with someone, mm -hmm. you know. And, and you so, learn about them and hear their heart and all of that. So yeah. it's basically what that is with the Lord. You're just having this time and this moment where you are learning of the Lord. He's speaking. You're connecting with him. Yeah. It was really super cool. And so I'm going to be doing a lot more reading than I normally do. Because basically this is our God time this morning. But it was so it was awesome. Here we go. So from dreaming to living. And I felt like, and I saw a lot of this is really the Holy Spirit's influence. And it's not just Devin taking notes and sharing Devin's words. You know, it's just really a communion between me and the Lord and it's coming out in this way okay so dreaming dreaming equals sleeping right mm -hmm. but I felt like the Lord was like that sleeping time has been your wilderness time um, but the uh, the living time that's when you're awake and the Lord's like, that's your manifestation time. Okay, so do, we got that, right? Mm -hmm. From dreaming to living. The dreaming is the sleeping and it's the wilderness, right? The living part is the coming awake and manifestation. Those are two separate times, right? Felt like the Lord's like, this whole seven years that we're literally getting ready to complete. Literally getting ready to complete. Um, what? It, I think the fullness, you talk about the fullness of time, it will be like January 2nd, right? The day after your birthday. Mm -hmm. So for you guys watching, that will be tomorrow. So the fullness of time of this whole journey is going to be, gonna be uh, complete. Um, and technically, we started it on January 1st, but maybe we started it on January 2nd because we probably celebrated your birthday and then we really got going on January 2nd. So fullness of time, January 2nd. Um, and I felt like the Lord is like, this entire time that you've been in the wilderness, you've been sleeping. You've been dreaming. You've been hearing and receiving the dreams of God. You know, you've been circling like a NASCAR going around that track, seeing the same old uh, advertisements. You've been seeing the heart of God because you've been you've been going around the track that's inside the heart of God and you've been seeing the Lord and you've been hearing all these wonderful promises year after year after year. You get you get so excited about it. It's like, oh, oh, th we're so excited about it. And he's speaking it. It must be getting ready to happen. Yes, yes, yes. And then we take another loop. <laughs> <laughs> another lap I should say mm -hmm. around the track and, and there's just more dreaming and more understanding and more revelation and this has been going on for seven years mm -hmm. 
And I felt like the Lord said, this is what's getting ready to happen. You're getting ready to go from dreaming to living. Meaning, you have to be awake to live things out. Mm -hmm. You can't be sleeping and going, man, I'm living a great life. No, you're asleep. You know? <laughs> and so and so, something else to consider here that that came to my mind was that God created Adam and they were doing all this stuff and they were having a good old time and he realized that he didn't have someone who was like himself. Mm -hmm. And then God was like, oh, I, I got a good idea. And then he put Adam in a deep sleep and then he woke him up when the woman was finished and he brought her to him. And that was basically your first marriage right mm -hmm. so you have that time of you're doing things with the lord and then there comes this moment where you where you're just like well lord you know what this is this is really what i want mm, i'm going somewhere i know i'm tired but just trek with a brother um <laughs> i'm 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 i don't i don't see anything that's like you know the giraffe has giraffe it you know, elephant has elephant head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, the, the the lion has the lioness. What's Adam have? I'm, I'm missing something here, okay? And he's like, oh, oh, I got a plan. But here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in a deep sleep. I'm gonna mm -hmm. put you in a deep sleep, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take something from you. Woo! Glory to God. I feel the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take something from you, and when I take it from you, I'm gonna shape what I've taken from you. And then I'm going to bring it to you and you're going to have one that's like you, you, you know? And so the Lord came to us in January. You saw where I was going? Mm -hmm. You knew I was going yep. there. Yep. January. And, and you know, January, like 2021st. Yeah. And, 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 and we, this has been stirring in our hearts for a while, you know? And then the Lord came to us like in a vision. It was it was weird. It was almost as if if you just peeled back the layer of reality, you could see Jesus. He was right there. Because mm -hmm. we were awake. We weren't sleeping. This was like a, a vision. Mm -hmm. And he just came into the room and he looked at us and he was like, hey guys. It was like he was in a hurry. <laughs> he was like, hey guys, hey, what do you guys want? Tell me what you want. And we're like, and he was like, tell I me, mean, I want you to tell me what you really, really want. And I was like, well, okay you you really want us to tell you and at that time it was just a step of faith just to tell him <laughs> for me anyway yeah i don't know if it was for you but i was like well lord this is what we want we we want a house you know we want we're 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 a growing family we want a home we, 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 and it needs to be big big with you know so a big big yard where we can play football you know <laughs> a big big table with lots and lots of food you know a big house don't start laughing little boy <laughs> <laughs> <Too late. laughs> i mean it needs to be big you know it needs to be more than we deserve and mm -hmm. it needs to be exceedingly abundantly you know with 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 many rooms and many bathrooms and upstairs downstairs in a nightgown you know what i'm saying it's like it, it needs to be like with a basement every i mean it needs to be all of this and i, I mean these we had a big dream you know we told the lord what our dream was at the time and he was just like okay it was like he was taking an order and he just took off just as fast as he came in mm -hmm. and that was that was almost seven years ago and well and i think what's interesting too is like really even the idea with a home was to be established yeah. to have a place where it's like this is where we reside this is where we yeah. live and and this is where we can live the life that even at that time have put upon us to live out you know mm -hmm. and and to just yeah we just kind of laid it out before the word but yeah. the major thing we were asking for at the time was the home yeah that was it at that time and so it's the same thing as adam saying hey i don't there's where's mine you know and so for me at that age you know looking at 50 here soon and now i'm 51 it's just like lord you know usually by now people my age are established and they have homes <laughs> you know I'm, I'm looking at that 
the same way Adam's looking and going, where, where's mine? And so I feel like the Lord's like, oh, okay, okay. I got a plan. I got just the place for you. And then he put us, he put us in this seven year journey mm -hmm. and he began taking from us. He's like, I'm going to strip you of everything, everything that you called normal. And I'll be totally honest. It's like, you're not going to go to church. You're not going <laughs> to, you guys are going to homeschool. Um, but even that, to be totally honest, has not been like this homeschool, homeschool. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been hardcore on it. Um, I mean, we could be, and there's been times where we have, mm -hmm. right? But there's been times where we've taken months off. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a, everything about our life has been completely stripped down to the nubs. In 2017, we always talk about how in 2017, our cabinets were literally bare. Mm -hmm. We had nothing in there. I mean, we, we went through. So, I mean, we're talking about how do you, you know, it's a seven year journey, you know, mm -hmm. and God has taken us through. He, he's taken something from us, but that which he's taken from us has only been reserved to restore back to us, you know, um, but then also he's used that, you know, he used Adam's side to create mm -hmm. the woman. And mm -hmm. God has used what he's placed in us to create the the vision mm -hmm. and the desire of the this is what I have yeah. for you, the visions I have for you uh, to for me to join you with. And, and really that idea of being married to the promiser but having the promises mm -hmm. and um and so it's just like i don't know i feel like so much of what god has scooped out mm -hmm. at least you know from the side it's just like wow look at what i'm gonna build and he's reshaped all of yeah. that reshaped it in our minds Mm -hmm. educational expectations, how to raise children, how to be husband and wife, all of that stuff. He just reshaped it. Yeah. And he's taken out all the parts that are like cultural expectations. God's like, nope, that's not me. Mm -hmm. like, this is me right here. This, yeah. this is how I do it. Read the word. Get into the word. The word is the, the, the dictionary of kingdom of, of God's heart. It's yeah. the dictionary of, of the life of God. It's like, read it. Let me show you. I know it goes against what you think, but let me show you. And we've been doing this for seven years. Yeah. And God's like, oh, no, I'm going to put you to sleep, and I'm going to provide for him. I'm going to watch over him. I'm going to look over you. And he's taken, like you're saying, all those things, and he's reshaped them. And I believe that we're getting ready to go into a time where we're going to go right back into it, but it's going to be completely different. Mm -hmm. it's, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna go into a home. <laughs> this is so super awesome. Um, and so uh, on the uh, so we we've, we've covered that seven years of dreaming. Now I feel like we're going going into a time <laughs> of being awake. You know. And so let me. What are my notes saying here? Remember in the Song of Solomon, it says, "Do not awaken love before its time." Remember, remember that. And that's talking about romantic love and getting married and that season of your life. And so it is with Adam. You know, God did not awaken him before it was time, before things were finished, before she was ready. And I really feel like that's what we've been going through. Like these last two years has been the Lord just kind of, hey waking us up you know what i mean mm -hmm. just we're coming out of the deep deep sleep you know and so and so also let's let me backtrack a little bit i think it was the night before the brown eagle that was the night before right yes. or was that last night no that was, no, that was the, the night, night before, before on the 30th mm -hmm. right the yes. night of the 30th because this is the night of the 31st yes in recent days, <laughs> I'm like sitting at the computer and I'm just like, all right, the kids have gone to bed. We're not making a video. So that means I'm just seeking the Lord. I'm mm -hmm. like, Lord, okay, what are you thinking? I didn't even get a chance to pray. I didn't even get a chance to pray. I'm just, I'm getting ready to posture myself to say something. And immediately I get this vision of this huge brown eagle that's just, it's like it's fighting against these gusts of wind, but not losing it's not losing the fight it's just it's being blown by these gusts of wind and it just pierces itself through the the uh, the wind 
and, and I'm just like, whoa. And I just had a little time with the Lord there. And basically, he's just like saying, I am coming. You know, I'm coming to... Uh, and, and of course, well, so long story short, it made me think of the big brown eagle that was above our boat that had the the splendid pair of wings, <laughs> but it was actually three pair of wings. I had a vision of me on a boat. Um, for those of you who don't know, really quick, um, and, we, and I was headed toward this waterfall without any oars or nothing, and I was just going to go over, and the boat went over the edge and just kept going straight and then eventually it got to this off point and right when it got to the off point these wings just appeared out of nowhere but there were three pair so there were six wings mm -hmm. all together and it, it didn't fall it flew <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, wow, that's crazy. And then, a, but above the boat was this big brown eagle, mm -hmm. you know. And I I was thinking like, man, when, when Joah went to the Bible Bee, when was that? Two months ago? Yeah, well, well about a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago. Mid-November. I felt like our boat was like coming right here, mm -hmm. you know. And then, and then as time's gone by, it's just gotten closer and closer and closer. And I was like, wow, talk about the fullness of time. Mm -hmm. Could that be when the boat actually goes off mm -hmm. because now I'm getting this vision of this brown eagle coming mm -hmm. and I'm like oh my gosh well we'll see we'll see they're puzzle pieces I don't want to be mashing puzzle pieces together and then when stuff when you come along and say uh, that doesn't go there yeah. <laughs> and then my heart's broken because of a time frame you know what I'm saying and so but that represents the spirit of God coming mm -hmm. you know and this entire December has been about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You know, we've had that. Uh, he is going to be that which causes us to blast off. Mm -hmm. It causes us to take off. Um, our faith is the spark, but he is the fuel that, yeah. that gets us going. Mm -hmm. I mean, has this, has this month not been about the Holy Spirit? Yeah, the whole month. Every single day. Yeah. We it's, even listen to... Uh, yeah, like... Basically, at the beginning of the month, there was just like this draw towards the Holy Spirit, and God was really speaking. And we listened. We ended up listening to uh, John Bevere, his mm -hmm. whole teaching. Uh, There's like five lessons on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and our son, he's actually he read through the whole book. He'll be done tomorrow. And but then even for myself, there's just been this draw towards like mm -hmm. praying in the Spirit more and more often. Um, and even r more recently, these last three days, I just really felt like it was like, hey, don't get online. Like, just spend time. No, and you know, she hasn't been on the internet in three days. Yeah, just uh. like, nope, I'm not doing any of that. It doesn't matter. I'm not checking anything or whatever. And it was just like, it's been a really good time because it's just been a lot of prayer time. It's been a lot of just extra reading time with the Lord mm -hmm. um, and just really seeking Kind of like an heart. Easter fast. Yeah, right? very much so. And actually, that's the book that the Lord really this entire month has been highlighting to me is the book of Esther. Mm -hmm. And But through it all, it's like the Holy Spirit has just been constantly mm -hmm. stirring in our hearts yeah. and you know, just drawing closer and more near and, you know, just even asking constantly, just like, Lord, fill us more, you know, mm -hmm. give us more of your spirit, especially as we continue to go forward. And I really believe this time that we're entering into is really a time where the, there's a highlight on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, for the last seven years, there's really been a highlight on the Father's heart. You know, with us going in these circles, we're really circling the heart of God and His vision and what He wants to have come forth. But then it's mm -hmm. like the Spirit is going to lead us forth to fulfill everything that God has placed upon our hearts as we've circled mm -hmm. His and that's what we carry with us where it's like yeah. hey i'm having you carry forth my vision my heart that's what's going with you but it's the spirit that's going to lead us forward and into the very establishment of the word that god has spoken to us yeah and so in essence we're really going to be marrying the word of god 
you know, because the union of the of the word of God, it, it's going to happen during an awake time. You know, mm-hmm. there's going to be a uh, but the spirit of God is the one that's going to make it happen. You know, it's going to be super awesome. And so there's just been a highlight on the spirit of God. Um, and that was part of this encounter that I had with the Lord uh, early this morning, the from dreaming to living. And he said, the spirit of God comes and enters into. This is what awakens. Mm-hmm. Um, and he reminded me of Adam. Adam was just a beautiful sculpture laying on the ground. Mm-hmm. But the spirit came in the, and... The breath of God. The breath of God. The Ruach <laughs> of God came in and he became a living being. <laughs> and so, no, <laughs> my kids always think I'm saying a living being instead of being. It's funny. Okay, so continuing. Um, the dry bones in Ezekiel 37. It says that there was, because notice there was two prophecies, you know, prophesy to the bones, right? And then once the prophecy to the bones was completely fulfilled, well, it looked just like Adam did at the beginning of creation, but there was no life in it. Mm -hmm. And he said, prophesy again. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of God came in, you know, and first, uh, and first Kings 17, 17 through 24, the woman at Zarephath, her son became sick and Elijah prayed and the spirit came back into the boy. And he, be, he was alive again. The day of Pentecost. They were there waiting in the upper room because Jesus said to wait. You know, he'd already breathed on them the Holy Spirit. But then he said to wait for the, the power of the Holy Spirit. Wait for the promise of the Father. The promise of the Father. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of the position that we've been in year after year after year. Waiting for the promise of the Father. Waiting for the Spirit of God. Mm-hmm. To grant us the power, Deuteronomy 8.18, the power of wealth to be able to go into a home. But God's like, man, I got you. I'm going to use that to show you a vision so big and so huge that I have for you that <laughs> yeah. your original desire is just going to look like a jelly bean in the midst of a candy store. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that what it's like yeah. now? I mean, if you look at our history and our, our most recent videos and, and just the vision that God's given us, the vision that God's given us is so big. It's so much more than just, it's like, it's like for Adam. God had in mind so much more than just having a uh, help meet for him. Yeah. He was thinking about the population of the whole planet with little images of himself everywhere. Unique little personalities of himself everywhere. You know, that's what his vision was. And that's the vision of God for everybody. Mm-hmm. When God gives you a vision, he, he's thinking bigger than you're thinking. Yeah. That's why he says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. He's basically saying, he, it's not so much a rebuke as so much as much as it is, as it is a like, man, I'm thinking way, way bigger than you. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> you think you're thinking big, but you're not. Mm-hmm. You, you, I mean, for you, yes, you are thinking big, you know, but man, I'm thinking so much bigger. Mm-hmm. And if you just listen to me and walk with me, you will you will grow in the vision uh, that I have for you. Yeah. You know? And so, um, that's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to give space. But yeah, so those were examples the Lord was giving me. And and that's kind of what we're waiting on. We're waiting on that that X factor. You know, we're waiting on that, you know, from dreaming to living. You know, the Holy Spirit is our two. You know, yeah. he's our equal sign. He's our X factor. He's the he's the, the he's the launcher. He mm-hmm. is the he is the one who brings life. You know? And so there's a dream I'm going to read from my notes. You feel left out because I'm doing so many notes. 
No. And you're so tired. I am. I'm just trying to not, you know. That's okay. Are you guys having fun out there? I hope so. Are you getting blessed? I hope so. So here we go with more. <laughs> if, 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 if you want to keep going. So there's a dream that God has. He speaks that dream. Then his spirit causes that word to come into reality as we all see throughout the creation story, right? And the Lord, this is one of those moments where the Lord literally asked me this. He said, why is there evening and then morning? And then this came out of it. It's like, it is because there is a time where you don't see what God has spoken. You only know it's been spoken. You're not mm-hmm. doubting what's been spoken. He said, let there be light. And like, and then there was light. It's like, you're not doubting it, but until you see it, you don't see it. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like, and so, so uh, why is there evening and morning? It's because there is a time where you don't see what God has spoken. It's in the dark, the unseen, but by the spirit, it begins to grow. And overnight, it comes into being. You know, like the gourd of Jonah. He did that thing grew up in a in a in a night mm-hmm. just to protect him, you know. There comes a time called dawn. <laughs> it is inevitable. And it is during that time where you see that which God has spoken. So basically God's saying in the evening, because we've always compared the Lord has always compared our wilderness time to evening. Yeah. And there was evening and there was morning. In the evening, you're not going to see it. Yeah. You're just not. You're not going to see the the, the the things spoken in the wilderness. You're going to, it's, it's going to be at a different time, you know. But it's during that evening where the test and the trial and the tribulation happens that tests the heart of men. The mm-hmm. Lord said to Moses, he's like, don't worry, Moses. I've done all these things to test their hearts, to see where they're really at. And God takes us through tests. He takes Abraham, uh, David, Joseph through tests, tests of time and tests of trials within those times because he's preparing the men of God to carry and be a representation of himself Mm -hmm. in the promise. You don't want to be a representation of yourself inside of God's promise. That's, man, I tell you what, I'm not trying to go, I don't know what I'm trying to say here to excuse myself, but I'm just saying that's church life right there. God gives a promise, man grabs it, and he just goes and he does it, and God blesses it to a certain degree, but then you have the representation of that person, and you have the representation of a particular culture. You have a representation of that which is partly God, but a lot of humanity as well. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're not going to, you are not going to receive of the pure flow of heaven in a place like that. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of churches out there that are super, super awesome, but you don't want to have your promise. Just take your promise. Do you want to have yourself in it? Mm-hmm. No, man, let God bake what he's going to bake. Get out the kitchen, go sit on the high chair, you know, you put, just lick your finger in the bowl and every once in a while say thank you Jesus you know what I'm saying (laughs) and just watch what he's doing but don't get in the way we have to tell Isaiah that all the time our youngest like don't go into the kitchen you know it's like it's it's dangerous like cooking and you don't want to you don't know he's there yeah and he's just there he just won't be a part of everything (laughs) you know but ultimately you want to decrease and see God increase and that be a part of that's the vision you know that's the that's the dream you want you know, and so there comes a time called dawn. I forget where I was. It is inevitable, and it is during that time where you see that which God has spoken. You can see that it is already growing. That which God has spoken is already growing, already maturing, already bearing fruit, and you didn't even do anything. Mm-hmm. Like Saul showing up for a banquet that Samuel prepared and called all the people and had everything already ready. All all Saul had to do was literally come in and sit down. It's like, wow, this is already, what is going on? God's going on for you on your behalf, bro. Now, don't mess it up. <laughs> well, we know how that went. No, I'm just <laughs> um, so what you did not see, could not see, you now see in this dawn time, in the daytime. 
It's like a dream a man has, only to wake up and find it manifested all around him. We call that a dream come true, yes? Well, let your dreams come true. That's what the Lord, the Lord literally said that to me. He was like, well, let your dreams come true. And I was just, it was a moment where I was just like, whoa, I just had to receive what he just said. I was like, I didn't even say anything. I just received it in my spirit, like, wow. God is speaking that. He's like, let your dreams come true. Time to go from dreaming them to living them. Now, before I go into the next thing, I want to say, lately, past several days, I've been, like week. past week, I have been feeling a, because God has been telling me, keep dreaming, keep dreaming, keep dreaming, keep going, keep dreaming. Even when we were at the Bible Bee and my little guy was sick and I had to stay with him so I couldn't be in the auditorium when Joel was doing so amazing and doing so awesome. And it was just, there was a part of our family represented in the, uh, in the auditorium, but I was back there, but, but. During that whole Bible be time, the Lord was like, no, keep dreaming. Don't relax on this. Keep the dreaming going. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. So I was like, all right, cool. And the last week or so, I have felt a pullback from house hunting, from dreaming, all of it, you know, because there's other dreams that we have. There's other things that God has us doing and dreaming about that, um, that, that have to do with just life. You know what I'm saying? And I have felt a pullback. I'm like, man, babe, I have felt a pullback from the housing stuff and the just the intensity. I feel like the Lord's like, okay, we're done. And we're sweeping up the, the bakery and putting the last little bits of dust from the dustpan into the trash can. And all right, we're turning out the lights. We're going. I'm like, wow. Now that is a trigger point for me because that means, oh no, we're done with this and we're moving on to some other thing. And it's like, all right. I don't know what that is, but it's just going to be another long journey. To do. That's what it's felt like. But I felt like that for everything. At first, I thought it was just about the housing, but I felt like that for everything. I was like, what is going on? Like, is this something that, is this the enemy? And we just got to push through it? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but I've just been feeling this distancing. I just knew it was the Lord. Is that okay? I just knew it was the Lord. And I'm, I'm like, wow, okay, well, I'm just going to have to trust in the Lord. Because it was like not coming to my mind. It was not coming up in my heart. It was just, you know, when the Lord's on it and he's driving, you're th driving you and getting you going and he's coaching you. You are thinking about it all the time. You're inundated. You're, you're immersed in it. And I felt so dry. I felt like I was drying out completely. And I was like, wow. <laughs> So to, in order to keep it going, you have to, you yourself has to make it go. And I know what that feels like. And I'm like, uh-uh. But I'm not even thinking about it. It didn't even, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. The, that's right, houses. What, what's going on in the housing market again? I, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, like, why wow, you've moved on. Yeah. And I've, it's really been bothering me and triggering me. And I've been praying, like, Lord, what's going on? Negatively, there's a leaven of negativity in there going, I must have done something wrong. Or I must be missing. Or something's not right. I'm not in faith enough, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Other people yawn. If you want to <laughs> yawn, they know you're tired. We already told them what time it was. It's 11.13. What? <laughs> I've been seen. I saw 9.13. It's 11.13. 11.13. See? 10.13. Uh, 1.13. You've been seeing the 13s. No, you are not rebellious. <laughs> we already got a revelation on that. But so this is what the Lord began to say to me. He said, the distance you have felt has been me shaking you gently to wake you up and get ready for the day. Mm -hmm. You see, because we're going from dreaming to living. You can't, you yeah. can't live while you're sleeping, you know? So the Lord has been, so, and the day is, a, is actually a person. That's what the Lord said to me. And the day is actually a person. Just as Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, he is also the day. Basically, he's the day that God, that the Spirit is waking us up to unite with. You know, and I feel like this time that we're going into is really going to be more about, because the Spirit and the Word always work together. Mm -hmm. But I believe the highlight is going to be on the Word. It has been on the Father's heart so far. 
I think in our kingly time, it's going to be about the king. It's going to be about Jesus. It's going to be about the word because the word of God is king. And then after that, it's going to be a focus. It's going to turn and the focus is going to be about the spirit of God. And it's going to be about the kingdom. And that's a whole nother uh, book. It's a whole nother journey. But... You know, Which when you is get funny married, because they kind of do, because it's it's funny because I'm like, well, that almost sounds the opposite because it's like, well, this is going to be a time of Pentecost, which is about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But then Tabernacles is about the king coming to dwell with his people. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like what you're saying. It's like there's also this emphasis on the word Jesus, but then like later on with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're saying they work they work together. together because you have the father and he speaks the word out of his mouth that's jesus and breath always accompanies words that's the spirit mm -hmm. that's god mm -hmm. father son holy spirit you know father word breath you know mm -hmm. <laughs> um all of that is god that's why jesus said when you see me you see the father i'm literally his heart in human form mm -hmm. you know i am him out of the overflow of his heart comes fourth speech you know and all that i'm the heart i'm the overflow i'm the speech it's like you, you <laughs> um but it's interesting but if you look at how it works together though so let's do a little side tangent shall we look at how it works together the baptism of the holy spirit came in order to empower them to go and preach jesus yep ha <laughs> oh man jesus is about to get some glory here in a minute um where was i <laughs> just like the, about the day oh yes he is the day he is also the day when a person is oh when a person is waking up there is a transition from leaving the world of moving pictures in their mind you know the dreaming world um, into reality there's a transition there this is where you have been the lord said that to me this is the pulling away from everything you have felt i am distancing you from the sleepy time so that we may rise and go pursue the dream and make it a reality one cannot pursue while sleeping i'm not setting you up for disappointment by taking the dream away because that's what it felt like mm -hmm. it's like oh man he's god's taking it he's taking it away you know <laughs> He set me up for this, which is going to be a disappointing mm -hmm. thing. He's like, no, I'm not doing that. And God's like, and yes, you were faithful during the Bible B to listen and continue dreaming and even afterward. But there comes a time when it is time to wake up. And I tell you, wake up. Another one of those moments where I'm like, wow, this is is really actually happening right now you know what i mean it's like he's literally saying this it's like and i'm telling you wake up but not as the world says to wake up this is, this is what the lord said it says the world says wake up and it means stop dreaming and get back to the reality of life outside the garden where you sweat and bleed for the simple things mm -hmm. like bread and water and housing and clothing and it's like they're all out there fighting and bickering over this over the things that money can buy he's like uh uh he's like no he's like no i say awake and let us go to the garden where dreams grow on trees and you can pluck them with a single reach out of faith mm -hmm. now i don't know about you but i was electrified by that point you know now let me tell you something we talk about crowning the year with goodness we had all just we discussed it like well how do we feel like the lord's crowned us it was this encounter mm -hmm. god literally waited to the last minute minute and he crowned me but here here check this out my my crown was throbbing and in pain and i woke up Mm -hmm. from it it was it wasn't so much pain and the lord's like that's okay you go ahead and get yourself some medicinals <laughs> and then i'm getting ready to crown you with my goodness mm -hmm. which is this word for real we've never gotten a word like this you know as far as wake up and mm -hmm. time to pursue and all that stuff not that i know of we might have and we might have jumped the gun whatever you can maybe 
show us that video if you know what that is but I don't remember it <laughs> but I just thought it was cool that the Lord replaced my crown of pain with a crown of glory just a crown of like hey <clears throat> this is what I'm saying to you we're going from dreaming to living and let me talk talk to you about it okay Michelle is she's with us in spirit <laughs> I'm still in the sleepy time. Yeah. <laughs> You're still waking up? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep reading from my notes. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, we have notes. God's like, here, I got some I got some uh, guardrails for you. Stick to the notes, Devin, as much as possible. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have been in a time for the last two years awakening from the wilderness. That's why we still experience the 444s and all the different elements of the wilderness. That means the 444s are when God just comes in and just just stirs up your heart and shows you something about yourself. Say, like, hey, this is not of me. Let's replace that. And you go and you repent of it and you let it go and you, he replaces it with the truth. Mm -hmm. It's still been happening. It just hasn't been as intense. You know, much like a person waking up, they're not in deep sleep, but they're not completely awake yet. Mm -hmm. But what happens when a person is completely awake? What is the first thing they do? Well, they open their eyes. And isn't that the first thing the Lord said was going to happen? The first gift that he was going to give us and that we were going to receive as a sure sign of manifestation was to see. Now, this goes back to, gosh, probably to 20, early 2018, mm -hmm. where the Lord's like, the first gift is to see. It's mm -hmm. like, you're going to see. And what were we going to see? We were going to see the fullness of the manifestation of God's promises in his word. He's like, you're going to see it. That's the first, mm -hmm. first thing that's going to happen. You're going to see it. Well, I think it's really cool, too, about just like the awakening and coming into the day. Mm -hmm. Because it, the I day you. has to... <laughs> you're so amazing. Thanks. You're the best thing ever. <laughs> real nope we're not editing that out go right on through what you what you were saying so <laughs> so um yeah so we're just um you made me lose my train of thought <laughs> uh, um, mission accomplished <laughs> um well yeah so the you know with saying like Jesus is the day well it makes sense because Jesus is light and light, light always rep he literally called the light day in Genesis chapter 1 that's and true and when he said God let said, there be let light there be light that was the first act of creation mm -hmm. was let there be light and what does light do it enables you to see yeah. and that's why God has always said like your first gift is to see because in this wilderness time we really have been in the dark you know god gives us a lot of revelation you know which is his light but at the same time much of it comes as we go or like we see it from almost like a having gone through it or we're nearing the end then God brings the revelation of what he's been doing mm -hmm. and it's like oh this makes sense that's what you were doing and that's kind of been this whole we've been journey. blind yeah <laughs> and so it's like God's just like hey I'm getting ready to bring you into the day which is where you see you see the Lord you see his light well it's the first gift in manifestation when we're in full-blown like this is full-blown manifestation fully awake manifestation the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to see yeah oh that was it yeah oh was that did i just that, that was like a smooth transition right there and i just missed it anyway <laughs> So, the first thing Adam did when the Spirit of God came into him is he breathed, but then he opened his eyes. Like he took a breath. Mm -hmm. He received the Spirit, and then he opened his eyes. Mm -hmm. Where am I? He opened his eyes and saw the Lord. He saw the face of the Lord. He saw the mm -hmm. face of the day. 
I believe that's exactly what's going to happen for us. We're going to be fully awake to the face of God, the power of God, the might of God, the word of God, the fullness of his word manifested in our life. And we're going to start living it out, mm -hmm. not just dreaming it out, but living it out. Um, what's that song called? What I see from Elevation Worship. Do you see what I see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like the song says, you know, we're stop looking for the evidence and start living in the promises like you know who your father is. We, we, we used to live on that song there for a while, didn't we? Mm hmm. And so I felt like the Lord was making some uh, some decrees here. It, it's been, it was just such a great time. Such a great time in the Lord. Um, it was one of those, man, I wish you could have been there. You know, <laughs> kind of things. <laughs> um, it's like time to wake up from the dreaming place. Time to come out of the wilderness place. <laughs> time to arise from the low station. Um, time to go to new heights. Let there be a fullness of the manifestation of the reversing that began seven years ago. Because the Lord gave me a word in May of 2017. He said, it's time for everything to be reversed. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, that word, man, it launched our channel into the stratosphere. Um, and now we've kind of come back down to a platform and we're ready to launch again. <laughs> but... I mean, it took me from like single digit views pretty consistently for like nine months and it, it, it birthed a new channel. Like from the old channel birthed this new channel that we have, which may be getting ready to happen again, yeah. you know. And of course, by stratosphere, that's like in our terms of definition of stratosphere, yeah. you know, because we didn't, you know, that's not, we're you not see our subscribers yeah. and our views. I'm <laughs> just saying, like, Stratosphere at that time was, I think we ended up with like, a, like you gained like a hundred or something. Like yeah, it was, it was something like but, that. <laughs> but that video went like, wow. It's like time for everything to re be reversed. And I, I literally did the thumbnail upside down on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did the picture upside down, but not the title. Um, and the Lord was just giving me a word for saying like, this is what I'm in the process of doing right now. You know, and I, who knew it was going to be a seven year process. But, um, but that's what he was saying. He was like, time to let the manifestation of the reversing that began seven years ago, let that happen. Let there be a flipping of the tapestry. Let the eyes of the children be awakened and opened that we might see the morning glory, that we might see the morning star in all of his glory as he goes before us to make a way through this sea of impossibility. Yeah. Uh, let the desire be fulfilled that we might eat from the fruit of the tree of life. So there's some declarations and some prayers going on there. And I really felt like the Lord was stirring all those things up and saying that Jesus is the glory of the morning, mm -hmm. the morning glory. He is the morning star. And so, again, there's an emphasis back on Jesus himself. You know, I just felt like this last statement, finally, at long last, comes the promise from the father and it is huge <laughs> well worth the wait and this last statement behold the grand finale i was like wow this is amazing and it kind of made me think of like wow what's going to happen today what's going to happen today you know but i didn't i didn't do that you know we went through this day it was just a really kind of just a normal day really mm -hmm. it was a cool day it was just really nice you know it was a lovely day a lovely day <laughs> a lovely day <laughs> a lovely day <laughs> I woke up with that song one, the other day and I felt so just like, oh, and then just that song, Lovely Day, came. The Lord's like, no, this is going to be a lovely day. It's going to be a good day. Okay. So that was pretty much the gist of my encounter with the Lord. He actually gave me a whole list of other uh, scriptures that really just supported everything he was saying. And I just felt like that for me was the crowning my year with goodness. Mm -hmm. It was a promise because it added 
to a word he'd already given me about I am coming to release you. I'm coming to open the doors. And he's talking about a promise of release and opening doors. And he's like, I'm coming to bring restoration and all that. And then and then he said, believe, you know, we talked about that in our last video. And that, so the man, the Lord's really been laying it on thick lately. Mm -hmm. But then this, this has been like the showstopper. It's been the crowning achievement. And again was, oh, well, that's just another word, Devin. Yes, because we're still in the wilderness. We're still waking up. We're still, you know, we're still not going to see it yet. So you need to get as much word as you can. So the more word you get, in the wilderness, the more manifestation manifestation you're going to have in the time of manifestation. If you only got a couple seeds, well, then you're only going to see a couple things mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be like Jesus in his hometown. You, you're only going to be able to heal a few sniffles here and there. You're not going to be able to do anything great because you didn't believe for nothing great. You know what I'm saying? But it's like in the wilderness, it's like here he is. We're in the, we're on the very precipice the threshold of coming out and he gives me like the this, this great word mm -hmm. it's like this is what's coming this is what's happening and i'm telling you you're going from dreaming to living you get it's getting ready to happen yeah so, and then i thought it was really awesome tonight the lord was because we were talking about like how is god crowned the end of the year with his goodness and you start talking um, about goodness yeah and and then one of the songs that we were listening to it says i will see your goodness in the land of the living hope and, darst and right and right away i was just thinking about <laughs> promise wow, keeper. yeah god is going to send us into where he's saying you're going to be living you're going from the dreaming into living mm -hmm. and it's like we are going to see his goodness and so it's almost like here the crown of goodness is that you are going to go into the living yeah and that is where you will see my goodness mm -hmm. and you will see everything that i have spoken to you everything that you've dreamed i'm gonna have unfold before your very eyes and you're mm -hmm. gonna see it and you're gonna be amazed and you're gonna glorify my name and you're going to exalt me because i am faithful and true to my word mm -hmm. and you know and that was you know one of those other words that you were just saying like you want to dream with the Lord during these times because you want to have that seed. And the Lord was yeah. telling me just the other night, it was prepare for rain. That's really what I was yes. getting. And oh I knew gosh. also like part of that, the prepare for rain, I really felt had to do with prayer. Mm -hmm. um, and like just praying and interceding which is so interesting because that's the place god's had me in for really these last three days there's just been so much prayer and praying in the spirit and so it's like all right lord well we are preparing we are getting our hearts ready to receive what you have for us mm -hmm. and i just believe that it's that hey you're going i'm waking you up i'm getting you ready yeah. to be awakened by my spirit because it's going to send you forth into a completely new direction. Mm hmm And that's, see that, yeah. That's where the wings are going to come from. Mm -hmm. The power, not by might or by power, not by anything that we can do, you know, but only by his spirit it's going to happen. So we're excited. And it's funny because you can see this, you can see evening and morning in Psalm 20 and Psalm 21. In Psalm 20, he's praying, he's mm -hmm. seeking, he's gonna, he's saying, God, this is what I want. This is what I, I, and I know you save your anointed and I know you remember things and just God, he's, you just see him praying. And in Psalm 21, it's just like, wow, I'm going to just, I'm going to praise you and glory in your strength because you literally have given me the desire of my heart. I asked life of you and you've given me life. Not only that, but you put a crown on my head. People I don't even know are serving me. It's like, okay, that you, wow. I wasn't thinking this big, but praise the Lord. You know, <laughs> it's like, I wasn't thinking like all of this, but okay, cool. Because God's thoughts are bigger. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, yes. What else is that? It. 
I think I, I think, think that's, that's, it. that's it for now. I think we that's could, it. Uh, yeah. Definite closing so. some prayer. And then... From dreaming to living. Yes. We're excited. Yes, definitely. And there's more to come. Yes. So I do want to just close this with prayer. Um, and I do pray just blessing over you. I pray that as we go into this new year, that the wind of the Spirit yes. of God would come forth and just blow upon you, <laughs> blow upon you peace, blow upon you just the grace, the power. Power of his spirit to mm. move forward into a new direction of life that there would just be a great focus um, to go forth and receive everything that the Lord has promised everything he has put mm. upon your heart to believe for and Lord I do pray you would just release your blessing from heaven release the windows of heaven open them up and pour down um, upon your people your vindication reign that there would just be newness of life awaken us to the place of living of the living lord that you would raise us up from you know so many of us it's like that spiritual place of death like that that mm -hmm. we need the resurrection breath of god to come in we're just laying on the ground laying on the ground be ready as like, about ready as we can be but lord we need you your have spirit. formed and fashioned us you <laughs> yeah. have made us ready and mm -hmm. we just need your breath come and on. so father we just Jesus. pray for resurrection life for newness of life to come upon your people that um you would come forth and bring forth the shining day lord that um just life would be made new there would be joy in the morning that though there was sorrow and crying and weeping um during the night that we would arise to joy arise to a mm -hmm. harvest lord mm -hmm. i pray that yes. that we're not just waking up to have to watch plants grow but we are waking up to a harvest field that is ripe and ready to have mm -hmm. things collected and there was evening and, um, and there was morning yes and <laughs> So, Father, we just pray this in your name. Mm -hmm. I pray that we would see your goodness in the land of the living, mm -hmm. that um, your light would shine, and that there would just be so much joy upon the hearts of your people, that we would be um, crowned with um, just that authority, that we would walk in a place of authority, that we would know who you are, mm -hmm. that we would have, we would see you differently. We would see you as our father as our king as our lord as our savior and that we would go forth as sons and daughters of the king of kings and lord of lords and that there would just be this victorious uh triumphant cry that comes from our hearts and that we would just go forth in courage and strength um into everything that you have for us um to go forward into mm -hmm. and lord i thank you um, for those that you have just, you have filled, Lord, you have filled to the full, and we just pray life. And um, yeah, we just uh, thank you again for everything that you've been sharing. And uh, just again, pray blessing over all those who have been listening, and mm -hmm. that um, yeah. may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Is it almost? Oh, we we got about 20 more minutes. 1140. Hey. Continue to believe, and you'll see the glory of God in yeah. the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, today is Michelle's birthday. Yay. So let's see some comments. Yay. Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. But all right. Until next time, guys. We will yep. see you later. Bye. Bye.